we uh, had a press conference when we left, and we said we were going to go back to our states and we were going to push very hard for this very important bill. And I won't reiterate uh, what Senator Landrieu has said, but I will tell you that in the last 15 years, small business has created 64% of all new jobs. So when they cannot get the funding to expand, and these are strong, good small businesses, some of which are represented behind me, then the economy stalls and job creation stalls. We all know that the large corporations, they're back to pre-recession profit levels, but they're not hiring. Small businesses want to hire. Um, I went back to California uh, when this bill uh, was uh, introduced and I visited many, many small businesses. I'm going to mention just the names of those businesses. The uh, Beach Cafe, Blue Bottle Coffee, Capstone Turbine, LA Baking Company, Renova Energy, uh, Santa Barbara Adventure Company, Solozyme, and US Hybrid. And these are all companies in different areas, some in tourism, some in uh, alternative energy. Uh, some in basic uh, food production. And they are strong, and their owners are strong, and they have strong development plans, and they cannot get these uh, loans. And the SBA programs just have fallen behind the times. So our bill incorporates two very important ideas. <coughs> It was the Merkley Boxer Bill that sets up this lending fund, and Senator Cantwell has been very instrumental in making sure we push that through, as well as Senator, Senator Landrieu, and then making these SBA programs operate in the 21st century. Um, I just want to say that we do believe uh, that Senator Voinovich uh, will break this filibuster. And if he does, <laughs> I just wanted to say a couple of things. I um, so admire him uh, for saying he was going to do this. He cited the case of a small business in his state that was trying to get a loan, a strong small business. And that small business was turned down by 42 different banks. 42 different banks. He said, and I quote, I happen to believe these small business people can't get money to save their souls. And I just want to say to Senator Voinovich, and I hope this all works out for us, because you know, it, somebody once said, it's not over till it's over. But if this all happens today, I say to Senator Voinovich, thank you for putting your country first, ahead of politics, and putting small businesses and workers of our country first. So we go back out there, and we're going to continue this battle um, we know very well that if we get this done, the estimates range anywhere from 300,000 jobs to a half a million and more jobs created. Uh, I want to thank uh, the administration for being so supportive and President Obama for talking about this uh, over this break. I want to thank my small businesses, and they're run by Republicans, Democrats, Independents. They're not partisan for helping me see clearly why we needed to fight hard for this bill. So this could be a good news day, and we're going to all work very hard.